The third and penultimate stage of the Tour de Yorkshire for 2018 would take the riders on the market stage from the market town of Richmond in the northwest of the county across to the North Sea coast and the seaside town of Scarborough. Enormous crowds out on the roads once more to send the riders on their way into what was billed to be one for the sprinters. But would that turn out to be the case? The early breakaway group establishing itself in the early stages with their five riders venturing forth, Jonathan McAvoy, Matthias Letournier, Robert de Grief and uh, Peter Williams joined as well by Adam Kenway. Those five riders establishing a maximum advantage of uh, just north of two and a half minutes but kept under a fairly short leash by the Astana-led peloton. Pete Williams of One Pro taking the first of two categorised climbs along the way and plenty of riders blowing steam on what was a very, very tough day in the sunshine of North Yorkshire. The second uh, categorised climb of the day coming with 50 kilometres to go and Jonathan McAvoy besting uh, Pete Williams on this occasion to take the top points. Behind the peloton were really pushing on and creating plenty of splits. That meant curtains for the early breakaway group as the peloton was divided into three groups on the road. Distanced was Mark Cavendish, Phil Bauhaus, the Team Sunweb sprinter as well, struggling in the sunshine. But it was coming down into the final 30 kilometers and into the late stages indeed well inside the final 10 kilometers it was Sylvain Chavanel the former French champion in the twilight of his career with the direct energy squad that pushed out for glory establishing a lead of just a little bit more than 10 seconds and causing consternation amongst the sprint outfits could it be that the breakaway riders stopped the sprinters from getting the glory for the second day in three into the final 500 metres and well he was hanging on like grim death but it wasn't to be for Sylvain Chavanel of the Direct Energy Squad as he was swept up in the closing stages. Brian Cockar launching Adam Blythe trying to get the glory. Magnus Court Nielsen looked like he had it but coming at the last possible moment Max Valscheid getting the victory for Team Sunweb.